Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Whatever you do, don't get screwed. There's a scripture that says, Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. You hear what I'm saying? Now, this is a warning I'm putting out because, you know, I'm on the Internet all the time with these videos. And I want you to hear me loud and clear. I was on Facebook. I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. And in my Facebook group, it's called God's Remnant Sound the Alarm. Well, I started getting messages from a man on the other side of the globe. And I'm saying his name because I believe it's an imposter of the real man. In case you run across this name, Beware. The name is Benson Coleman. And in this name, the, under the name, there are pictures of a man who looks like he's, he's from Europe or Asia or somewhere. And he is a public figure, a popular public figure, who is interviewed on television who um, is known. I believe, um, I can't think of the name of the country, so I won't even go there. But it starts with an A. Now, I get a message on my Facebook in the name of Benson Coleman. And he says he loves my videos, he uh, loves how it convicts him and oh, they're just so wonderful. And He wonders if I'm a minister, then he wonders if I'm a pastor and it goes on and on. And Do you have a church? Are you planning on getting a church? So I let him know yes. And um, I don't have one, but I'm planning on getting one again. <clears throat> but it's a matter of funds, of course. And God's timing. So what happens? Now, I am a widow. Remember this. I'm a widow on a very low, low, low fixed income since my husband passed away. And um, I have to have food stamps to help me get my, you know, food or else there wouldn't be enough money for that. So this man, after I just got through telling him my husband passed away a year ago, a year and a half ago, he starts talking about, oh, I'd love to help you start your church. And now I'm excited. Somebody's going to help me start my church? Whoa. And he says um, he pays his tithes once a year. And he pays for the previous year. And he knew he owed somewhere between one hundred and fifty and two hundred and fifty thousand dollars And he was going to give me the money that I could do whatever I needed to do, get the church started up, you know, whatever help I needed to get the church started up, blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking, whoa, I can pay the, 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 uh, ran in it, the lease in advance for three or four years and I wouldn't have to bug people for money because it's paid for and if this guy comes and visits the church maybe he'll continue to, to finance it with offerings that would keep it going so I wouldn't have to bother the people like me who don't really have much money and bother them for, for giving you know people give because they want to give not because I'm asking them so, and then I figured with the amount of money he's giving me, the other thing that would be taken care of are the utilities, the insurance, and also a benevolence fund where we could help the people out. And me too. 
I mean, all of us could get help from it. <clears throat> I wouldn't get a salary, but if I needed something fixed, I could get it from the Benevolence Fund. Anyway, be that as it may, the bottom line, it turned out that I get this letter from a so-called bank. And the bank says, we need your information so that you can, um, I mean, not we need your information, but we're sending you to a site so that you can fill out a bank application. And we need your information so that we can deposit uh, Benson's money into your account. Oh, he's a long-standing, good, upright citizen that's really been a, a great person. And I, I mean, they were just pumping him up. Well, now I'm smelling a rat because banks don't do that. Then on top of that, the English was horrendous. It was, I mean, there were all kinds of grammatical errors and it was really pitiful. Then when I contacted the bank, which was HSBC, they sent me an immediate response. We don't know anything about this. With a warning, if you get anything from a so-called bank, asking for your for you to fill out something with your personal information and the english and the grammar and the spelling and all kind of stuff is incorrect run do not open do not click do not do anything because it can either be spyware or they're trying to do an identity theft so what I did was, after I was extremely disappointed, because I was thinking, finally, God's making a way for me to get my church started. Well, what he ended up doing was, I, con I got on Facebook. What I ended up doing, I got on Facebook, and I started looking at all the photographs of this so-called Benson Coleman. And I thought, now, he, all these things are in another language. Why would he use an English name? And I know there are some foreigners that would do that because Americans will kill their names before we ever say it, pronounce it correctly. So I gave that the benefit of the doubt. But I'm looking all over these pictures, and I noticed the one thing that was in common was Gubad Obudaglu, and I'm probably killing that as well. So I typed that into Facebook, and there he was, the same person. Nothing was done in English, not one word. That's when I realized somebody snatched his information, created a Facebook page with all his photographs, impersonating him to take people's money. Beware, everybody. I said that to tell you, beware.